Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of Disney Infinity 3.0. I'm Talented Toy Boxer here, and I'm with Mike Wazowski, and today I'm going to make a hockey toy box. So I'm going to open the editor, and I'm going to go to Instant Fun already. Yes, we're already going to go to Instant Fun. And we're going to have the Sky Changer. We're gonna have it be Frosted White World. The whatever it's called. Let's see. Pure White Sky, that's what it's called. There we go. Okay, my gamma level is high. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn this down. The gamma level for for the game. I can have it be, oh god. There we go. Now we're gonna have this be Frosted White World here. There we go. That looks pretty good, pretty bright though. Until we add in some toys. We're gonna go to Sports Toys. And we're going to need a, hold on, where is it at? Soccer goal, basically the same thing for hockey. Soccer goal. We have a hockey puck be like right here. First off, let's actually move it. Wait, come back, come back, no! It fell off! And that's why we're gonna add a little stadium. So that it doesn't fall off or it could just fall off because the stadium gate is right here just spawn this toy right here then this over here and then this over here yeah I'll do that I don't really care if it's off the map or not. And we're gonna put this right here. And we're gonna need more stadium pieces for this toy box. There we go. And now we're gonna need another stadium piece right here. Right here, right here, then we're gonna curve it, or an outer curved stadium piece. We'll use a curved stadium piece, like right here, and then this stadium piece, like right here. There we go, now we're gonna push this a little bit forward, there we go. There we go. I don't care if it's not attached to the to, to the wall or the ground, or whatever. Hmm. Outer curved stadium. There we go. That looks good. And now we're gonna have like a little hockey puck be generated every once in a while. So we're gonna spawn in like some some little track railings now. Again, around the around here. And actually, let's not do that. We're fine. Oh, no! Put this. Put that right there. And now we're gonna go to Creativa Toys. And we're gonna go over here to the falling object generator. Let's find the falling object generator. Here we go. It will be generated right here. Hockey is kind of like the, the game Pong. You guys know Pong? The first video game ever invented, actually. You guys know Pong? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I know you guys know Pong. Come on, everyone does. Who doesn't know Pong? Probably some people new to the world. Put this toy right here, and then we're gonna put this toy right here. 
Let me know if I should make a basketball toy box. Basically, this it looks exactly like the like the the little soccer one we did. We have a little scrolling sign right here, double banner and ESPN banner. And another scrolling sign, a double banner and a banner. Why does Disney own so many companies? And then another scrolling sign right here. A little flag. And then that. Then an award podium. Stadium lights. Right here. Right there. And let's go back to Creativa Toys and we're gonna have it generate. We're gonna have it generate like a, a, a hockey puck. Use Lodge Connection, no. Hold on, we're gonna exit Spark Mode. Come over here to the Challenge Maker toy right here. And we're gonna need some locators for start locations. Like right here. And right here. And we're gonna put this like right over here. And we're gonna put the locator toy right over here so it's not like a, a mess. And we're gonna spawn in a trigger area right here. There we go. And then a trigger area right here. We're gonna do a new lodge connection. New lodge connection when entered by a physics ball. This will count as a goal. But we need, we need, we need another toy to actually finish that connection. And that toy, and that toy is the scoreboard. We know if I should make like a team paintball game, survival and stuff, a counter. Text displayer. We're just gonna put these toys off to the side. I really enjoy making these for you guys. And I mean that. Yes, I do mean that. And yeah, that's basically all the creative toys we need. But instead of you, instead of you spawning on there, because for some reason you cannot do a lodge connection with this toy right here. It just doesn't let you do it, it's just a little decoration. We're gonna have first place podiums right here. Second place podium, third place podium, and fourth place podium. The third and fourth one are just for decoration. And, hold on, let's go to here. We're gonna do a new logic connection when the game starts. This will activate the level starter toy right here. Start. And then, new logic connection when the game... Hold on, new score results connection. Connect it up to here. Link score for results, there we go. Now we're gonna go over here. New large connection when entered by player. No, not player. Physics ball. This will count as a point for player one. Increment by one for player one. Then we're going to go over here. New large connection when the game. No, wait. Not only will it do that, but it will generate that. We're gonna connect it. We're gonna do a new lodge connection with the the hockey thing, the little the little goal for soccer. New lodge connection when the goal is scored by a physics ball. This will activate. This will generate a ESPN hockey puck. Right there. There we go. Then, new lodge connection when the game is completed. Hold on. Let's see. We're gonna need to use the text displayer toy now. When the game starts. 
Now to stop. New launch connection when the game starts. I'm gonna connect it up to the, the text displayer. We're gonna connect it to to start. You ready? And then new launch connection. You ready? And then new launch connection when the game is completed. Player one will will win, or whoever wins, game completed. We're gonna connect it up to the text displayer. Victory, congratulations. Then the counter toy will just need to go to properties for it. Target count five. I haven't played hockey, but I've seen Inside Out before and I and I know that Riley likes hockey a lot so that's why I'm making this toy box I didn't even realize if you look down there it's not even white anymore look at it, it's it's not white it's white up there but it's like a tannish skin color hold on let me just let me showcase this for people who cannot tell the difference look at so it, it might it, it might just be me it might just be me my eyes messing with me but I'm pretty sure I can actually see that hold on we didn't do a connection with this new lodge connection when entered by a physics ball we're gonna connect it up to the scoreboard increment by one for player two there we go now let's see. Hmm. New lodge connection when the results are closed. The text display your tool will get activated and it will say uh Hold on, let's see. Hmm. Missions. Thank you for your help. Thank you, no. Hmm, let's see. Not sure what this will actually do. Farewell. No, let's not do that connection. Then we're going to go to this toy's properties. Properties. Magic wand off. There we go. Yes, we'll allow any character. There we go. And now, hold on. We're going to try and make it say if player one or player two have this many points, then they win the game. So we, did we did we do any connections with the these podiums? No, we did not. I'm gonna come over here to the challenge maker. New lodge connection. When the game is completed, we're gonna it's gonna teleport player there. Multiple connections created. New lodge connection. When the game is completed, it will spawn another player here. Teleport player. And, hold on, let's see. Hold on. New Lodge connection when player one score is changed. This will... I forgot what I did last time. When the score is changed. Hold on. New lodge connection when the target score is reached. Gotta connect it up to here. Log player one completion. And now we need another scoreboard. Let's go back to Creativa Toys. We need another scoreboard. So let's find a scoreboard toy. Here it is. We're gonna spawn that there. 
So we're gonna do a new logic connection when target score is reached. This will also log player player two completion. And when player two score is changed, new logic connection. Oh wait, that will increment for player one, so we don't really need to do that. So let's actually try out our toy box to see if it works well. Oh wait, I remember what we did. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna do a new lodge connection. And player one score is changed. We're gonna connect it up to here. Encourage, we're gonna go to encourage. Right here. Keep going. And then for player two. Hold on. New lodge connection. Okay, we can't do the same connection with the same toys, so we're gonna have to do the other one. One player two score is changed. No, not here. New lodge connection when player two score is changed. Gonna come over here. Encourage. Uh Perfect. And then we're gonna come over here. <clears throat> Player one score changed. Loud cheering. New lodge connection when player one score is changed. Loud cheering. And over here. New lodge connection when the player is teleported here. Loud cheering. And then new lodge connection when the player is teleported here. Cheering. And then new lodge connection when the player is teleported. Gonna connect it up to this. Soft cheering. And then we're gonna go over here to the scoreboard. New lodge connection when player one score is changed. The crowd will go wild here. Loud cheering. Then we're gonna go over here. New lodge connection. When player one score is changed. We connected that and that and that. Loud cheering. Then we're gonna go over here. New lodge connection when player teleported. We're gonna come over here and connect it up to this stadium right here. Loud cheering. And then some of these will be player two. New lodge connection when player two score is changed. We're gonna connect this to here. Loud cheering. Then right here. New lodge connection when player two score is changed. Right here. Loud cheering. Then right here. New lodge connection when player two score is changed. We're gonna go over here and connect it up to this curved one right here. Soft cheering. And hold on, let's see what else we have. I wish you could like beam these guys right here, the little stadium guys. That would be cool, right? Like the retro video game level and stuff. When player one score is changed. They'll get the popularity of people over here cheering for him. And then right here, we're gonna go over here. New lodge connection when player one score is changed. Right here, loud cheering. Let's, let's come over here to the second one. New lodge connection when the player is teleported. So the ones that have two connections, we'll do that. So that's connected to that. This is a player one fan. This is a player one fan. Wait, hold on. Let's cancel this. Hold on. I think the curved one is for player two. 
Hold on, we're gonna come over here. Need large connection when the player is teleported. Connect it up to here. Uh, hold on, this is a first place fan, I think. It's the first one, the first player thing, whatever. New lodge connection with this player teleported. Okay, the ones without them. Loud cheering. So the ones with only one connection will do that. And can. Oh. Purchase skill upgrades. Press options to purchase skill upgrades. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for reminding me. Game, I haven't done that in a long time time cheering then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna see if this is connected to that that's connected to that this is a player two fan i think so we're just gonna go over here new lodge connection wait not here from not from the scoreboard New lodge connection when the player is teleported. I hope you guys enjoy this video, by the way. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel the connection. I meant to actually do it. Do it. New lodge connection when the player is teleported. We're gonna come over here to the curved stadium. Loud cheering. Then player one gets the popularity over here. Then new lodge connection when the player is teleported. The little outer curve stadium thing. Loud cheering. And then this is a player one fan, I think. New lodge connection when the player is teleported. Loud cheering. Now we're going to come back to player two. The player is teleported. Soft cheering. New lodge connection when the player is teleported. Loud cheering. New lodge connection when the player is teleported here. Soft cheering. New lodge connection when the player is teleported. This is connected to the first one. Loud cheering. And then we're gonna go to the scoreboard toy. New lodge connection when player one score is changed. No. No. Yes. Loud cheering. There we go. Now we're gonna see if this works properly. It should work properly. So let's go over here, start challenge. Okay, now you're facing the wrong way in the challenge, so we have to fix that problem. You ready? Oh, I, I didn't make it, I didn't make this, I didn't make it banner. Hold on, let's come over here. Go to properties. Where's the hockey puck? Where's the hockey puck at? Maybe I didn't connect it to the challenge maker. Maybe that's why. Or to the, 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 what's it called? Falling object generator. New lodge connection when the game starts. Gotta come here. Ah, you don't mind me. A, a tiny green monster just running in your face. ESPN hockey puck. We're gonna try that again. New lodge connection. When the when invites are accepted. We're gonna come up here. And we're gonna connect it to this. ESPN hockey puck. There we go. So he probably did like three. 30 something lodge connections or maybe even more in this toy box game. I spent a lot of time making this. Oh, there's the hockey puck. And it's just gliding away. 
And that's actually kind of cool because it's actually like hockey. Uh, apparently invites got accepted. Oh, it's actually like hockey. Hey, come back here. Come back. Oh, I got a point. How? Oh wait, because it hit this. So the target count is like five. Ah. So this is kind of hard. There we go. We just have to hit it into here. There we go. Oh. There we go. That was Yippee. even easier than I expected. That was easier than I expected. Whoa. Cool. So now, that's pretty cool. Scare the ground. Ah. Okay, we need to do a new lodge connection with another challenge maker, a hidden one down here. There we go. New lodge connection. When the game is completed. Hold on. Gotta connect this right here when the player is teleported this will log player one or player two completion this will log player one completion then we're gonna do the exact same thing again but we can't do it can't do that again so we're, ha we're gonna have to use another hidden challenge maker and then we're gonna come over here new lodge connection when the player is teleported See, we can't do it, so we have to use another one. Log player two completion, and then we're gonna come over here. New lodge connection when the player is teleported. This will log player one completion or player two's completion. New lodge connection when the player is teleported here. log player to completion there we go so now that should work properly and our, our little points have to have to be like hold on properties five so i think that's for player one let's see play to five this should be off Hide on you score fields. Yes. So now we're going to try this again. Start challenge. Oh. There's our first hockey puck. For this challenge. Yes, I'm ready. Oh. Oh. Come back. Come back. I'm not that fast. So I'm going to use my, my... Oh, I hit the flag. Oh. Thing. I'm gonna carefully hit this into my goal and win the game. Oh, it just went flying. There's like, there's like six hockey pucks in here. Come on, oh, it doesn't work, just slam it. No. Let's just knock this into my own goal. There we go. Keep going. Oh God. We're just gonna knock this into here. Oh. Oh God. There we go. Why does it keep getting flung? We're just gonna, oh, there we go. That should complete the challenge. Keep going. Yes, Yay. Yippee. Oh, yay. Score five. Yippee. I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this toy box game now. And these these will not exist anymore. The, what's it called? Hockey pucks. Yeah, they won't exist when I come back to this toy box. But they will exist whenever I start the 
the level if you were wondering. Save and exit. Gonna come over here. And yeah, I, I remade this, I tested this, and it, it didn't really work well, so I just remade it, and it works perfectly now. New toy box game. Hockey. Toy box game. Description. Knock the hockey puck toy into into the into your goal to score points for you. There we go. Primary genre. Sports. Save. Create a new save. Yes. So I've made six toy box games. Nice Lander Race and Retro Enemy Battle. Tron Olympic Diving Football Toy Box Game. And Wild West Shootout Toy Box Game. All really good toy box games that I created. We're gonna go to toy box. We're gonna see if the spawn point is facing the the right direction. We're gonna come over here. Hockey toy box game. Knock the hockey puck toy into your goal to to score points for you. So that's the description of our toy box game that we just created right now. Now I'm just gonna wait for this loading screen to finish. Oh, auto start on toy box game load. Waiting for other players. So we can't save our... Oh, God, where was his eye? We can't save our game. And that's fine. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I am sure I want to quit my game. So that was all for today's video. And I'll, I'll see you in my soccer making. And then I'll see you in my basketball toy box game. And I'll see you in my coal buy one for the Lone Ranger playset toy box. And then I'll see you in my Tatooine toy box video. And, uh, what else was I gonna make? Oh yeah, the Nomania is in Island for, for Takeover with the Syndrome boss in it. Let me know if I should make those toy boxes and those toy box games tomorrow. But anyways, I'll see you next time.